Hi Jacob, this is Coach Smart from ABC Baseball Camps. How are you doing today? I'm here to do your video analysis on your hitting. We're going to talk about your setup to start off with. Then we'll talk about your swing plane, your position of contact, your lower half and how you get it involved, and your finish. So let's talk about your setup. Um, okay, feet somewhat parallel. Looks like your front foot's pointing a little bit this way. It wants to look just like your back foot does. Okay? Like that. So make sure you get those feet parallel on a line. Easy way to do that is get a piece of tape at home out in the garage and work on your your load stride and swing and, and make sure you're striding to that piece of tape. Okay. For my liking, Jacob, I like to see a little bit wider. You're a little narrow. Here's your the width of your shoulders. Okay. And your legs should always be a little bit wider than those, and they're about the same. So you want to be a little more than shoulder width apart. So I would widen out a little bit, get more in your legs a little. Okay. Let's see what happens when you stride. Okay, so when you stride, you get back to parallel, which is good. So your toes are together. But Jacob, you've got to remember, buddy, when you stride, when you take that step forward, that's a timing mechanism. That's your trigger. When the pitcher comes to a set position and he goes to separate his hands to come forward, that's when you stride. But when you stride, you don't transfer your weight forward like you do. The only thing that goes forward is your foot. You want to keep it that back side and not transfer that weight until after your, until you swing. Okay? Hope that makes sense for you. Um, let's talk about your swing plane, your angle of attack to the baseball. Okay, so you're you get level real early. And that's probably okay for what you're kind of pitching you're facing right now, uh, Jacob. But when you get older and kids start throwing harder, you're going to want to create more of a downward angle until you get to about there. And then you get to this point. But until you get to this point, you have to have more of a sharper angle because it's just going to take too long to get from point A to point B. Okay, so uh, but this here is good through the contact area. It should be your bat should look just like it does, nice and square. Okay, there's your contact point. We're going to talk about this arm right here, which is good. Your left arm is good. Okay, can't tell from the video. Looks like your head slot's in pretty good position. Should be looking down here behind the barrel. I really like the angle of your back leg. That's good. You're on the ball of your foot there. That's good. Okay. Um, let's see what you look like on your finish. Let me scroll forward here a little bit. Okay, so we don't want that bad, Jacob, to go around our body. Okay? Not too many big league guys take their bat and go around their body. Okay? What you want to do, bud, if you can, is to, as your arc comes down to hit the ball, you got a downward angle, then you flatten out, get good extension, and your hands go up high. They finish over your shoulder. That way your hands will go more towards center field in your swing instead of your pull side left field. Okay, let's look at another swing. See, 
See that barrel is just, you're kind of dragging that barrel along for the ride there. You got to get that barrel up and then get it flat into here. This one want to be level and flat, but not before we get there, okay? Okay, another good position of contact. I'm watching that front foot. It doesn't appear that it really wants to move very much. What you're trying to do, Jacob, is drive this knee down to this foot. And when you do that, it should be very difficult for you to keep your front foot on the ground and prevent it from, from sliding open or rolling over. But when you do that, when you prevent that, you create resistance. And when you create resistance, you create energy. And energy means more bat speed, and bat speed means more power. Everything we want from a hitting standpoint. Okay? So here's a drill I'm going to give you to work on your swing plane. You know, okay? It's, let's get you back to your setup. Okay? There's two drills for you. One is a dual T drill. Put one T here. Put the second one at the contact point. Make that one a little shorter than the other one. And then force yourself to swing over the top of the second drill. This, this first uh, T, this first T is only about an inch shorter than the other one. But make sure that you're swinging over the top of the back T and down to the front T and hitting, hitting the ball for, you know, hitting line drives, not just ground balls. Okay, it's called a dual T drill. The second drill I'll give you is just eliminating this T here and then have somebody flip you some soft toss in the front and then swing over the top of that, have them throw baseballs you know, at least as high as the T. So you have to swing over the top of that T in order to hit that baseball. That'll help you with your swing plane. And just remember, the stride is only your front foot, not your whole body weight. And you don't want, you don't want to transfer that body weight to initiate your swing. So I hope that helped you. And we look for Jacob. Looking forward to seeing you another ABC baseball camp, buddy. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.